Hi, Brian Hawkins, Next Step Survival, and today I'm here with a video review. Or is it review video? I'm not sure. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm here for you, and I'm going to show you this cool product. And we're going to look at it together and try it out. So, it's a, it's a Sagan Life product, and it's called the Aqua Drum 55-Gallon Drum Water Purification System drum not included okay so it came in this cool box this box is premium cardboard manufactured by uh, whatever so um it includes fast flow rechargeable pump which i right now i have that over here on my in my recharging or my charging station and uh i didn't expect that i knew it was battery operated but i'm a little excited that it's uh rechargeable the reason is just because I can recharge batteries, obviously, up here, but being a micro USB rechargeable pump, I can I can charge it on my station here, which can be plugged in to generator power or solar power. And also I use that charging station to charge these things up. And uh You can charge it with these 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 power banks right so that's this lends a whole new uh level of usability for preppers right so I th i'm just like a little excited about that and it's over there charging right now i'll bring it off in a second and uh what else is in here we got some pieces of paper let's say things and just says some more stuff and then uh then it's got a sagan life Thing with a bunch of more stuff that they got they have a quite a lineup i actually reviewed their uh kelly kettle a month or two ago and that was pretty cool um, so the pump came in its own little box but like i said i went ahead and uh, uh pulled that out to charge it it's a 5 watt, 5 volt, pumps 12 and a half gallons per charge, rechargeable USB. Okay, so, and then this has to go on it, and I didn't, I didn't put that on there. I'm going to go ahead and do that now while you're watching me, just in case I break it, you have, you'll be my witness that it wasn't my fault. And uh, I think it goes like that, so, see, this is the on off. That's where the tube's going to come out, so I believe we're just going to, Cram that in there like that. I didn't feel nothing break. So there we go. So there's the that that's the uh, the five volt rechargeable pump, and then it also comes. Well, these tubes are already hooked up. You didn't know that. So it also okay. So it comes with a hand pump too. So squeeze pump. I'm gonna try that too. It's got a belt clip and everything. So. You know, you don't have juice in there, you can still filter and pump your water. So this has got a quick connect hose. Then it's got a couple of other quick connect hoses and a filter. So this filter is good for 250 gallons. You can buy a replacement ones. I just, just looking at them. Um, right on, I don't know if you can get them on Amazon, but you can get them on saganlife.com that's s-a-g-a-n life.com and uh let's see if i can do this without i like you, you well you just watched oh snapped right in there that was pretty nice i'm not sure what this is okay yeah i do i know what that is so we're going to put this tube into this inner circle where that really just common sense here if you want to get in there all the way because you don't want that falling through to the drum um, and we'll snap these two together there we go now we have this hooked up for the the uh, rechargeable pump and we'll take this hand pump out there too when we go um, Came with this. I didn't need this. I have a ton of them on my charging system, but I think that's the micro. Let's see if it had a focus on there. The micro USB, which a lot of things are. So 
um, I think we're ready to go out and try it. I can't wait to see if this thing works. So, so this will um, filter 250 gallons for for uh, the filter, and then it will work on any drum up to two inches, which is this for the the hole, right? It needs two inches to go into the hole in the drum. And I have outside, I have 255 gallons in the garage. And I think three 15 gallons, three 15 gallon drums, and then out back I have 55s and 30s. So, because like I think I already mentioned it's raining outside, so we're just going to do it in the garage. So I'm going to take you with me. So come on, let's go. Okay, we're out in the garage. Um, hopefully you can hear me okay. I've got to bend over a little bit. I'm trying to keep the the camera close enough to where the microphone and do its job. And it's all right. In a second, I'm going to reposition you to give you a better look over the top of these drums so I can open one of these up and try try out one of these uh, well actually both of these pumps the hand operated and the uh, rechargeable battery operated so um, this is uh, one of the places we keep water at it's just convenient this is what I call my little parts room the corner of my garage and um, We've got them in the backyard in a couple of different rooms inside. Not drums inside, but if it freezes, I, I may end up doing that. We've had, we've had a couple of decent winters here in Michigan, so I haven't had a freezing issue, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'll move you over and we'll check these pumps out. All right, so hopefully that's working. Um, I think we'll go with this one because it's, uh, you can see that one the best. So I always keep one of these around. I've got a couple of these, two or three of these in the house. They're they're very inexpensive. I don't know, six, eight dollars on uh, Amazon, and uh, they work pretty good. Not sure how tight this is. It's it's been on there for a while. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. towel out here and I forgot. All right, so this is already clean water. Um, what I did and I don't know how, um, I don't know what the standard is, but what I did when I filled these up, I put a shot glass of bleach in each one of them and uh, a, a half a shot, uh, half shot glass of bleach in the small 15 gallon ones just to just as a precaution. I don't even think I need to do that. Uh, let's try this one first. Oh, I want to get a pitcher. I want to put some, I got to have something to put the water in. I'll be right back. Okay, so I needed a pitcher and a towel. So we're good to go now. So I'm just going to get, let's get started on it, I think. Just drop that filter in that hole. Let's see how well this goes. So we just, uh, it's, it's, it didn't take a full charge. It wasn't charged completely. I rushed things. But a uh, little button on top. So we just push that button. There it comes, so you can see it. Alright, so that's pretty cool. It's coming out there a pretty good clip. And now it's blue instead of red. When I was charging it, it was red. And I'm, I, it seems like maybe the lights, um, the number of lights that are lit, lit up is maybe possibly the amount of charge. Maybe I should have read something before I started this video, but... Anyway, I think we're good on that. This seems to be working fine. Right, that works good. So I've, I've got a couple options that I use for pumping, but this is pumping and filtering at the same time, so I like that. So now what we're going to do is um, unplug this. 
stand full of water, so it's probably ain't good for the filter. Right. Just trying to get some of the how does this work? Okay, so that's that works nice. You just push that push that little blue button in and it pops right out there. It's a quick connect. And then we'll push this one right in there. I think. There we go. So now, now we've got the hand pump hooked to the uh, filter. It's already coming out. I never had a cow or a goat. But something makes me think that might be how that works. So apparently you have to keep squeezing because it's not coming out when I stop. So this is similar to the pump that I use. I've got a couple of them over there. Let me drop it. Here's one right here and then I got the extension to it. You can buy those real nice ones, but that's not going to filter it. And that's, that's what I wanted. Uh, that's what I wanted the most out of this here is, is a, a way to filter it. So not so much for in here, but in the uh, in the drums outside. So if it came down to us having to use that water outside, then uh, then it would be nice to be able to filter that. All right, so I think we're good. Um, We'll see what else I can do out here. So I'm gonna move this back in and close it up. All right. Well, that was super easy. Um, I like this. The uh, well, I set it over there. The hand pump. I guess if you're an emergency and you need that out of there and you don't want to risk spilling precious water in a SHTF type of situation, I guess that would. Be well worth the uh, the effort to get it out of there. Um, I pl actually, I, if I'm if I get the bug in during any type of event, as long as I can stay home, I'm gonna always have a way to um, charge device. I shouldn't say that. I plan to always have a way to charge devices because that's something we're continuously working on, and uh, so. But one charge, what did it say? I don't remember what it said with this one charge. I think it said 12 gallons. So you'd need to be charging this up quite a bit. Um, yeah, I don't remember what it said now. I'm going to pause you here. All right, so I got all the all this statistics for you. So the... This is called the power pump. So this power pump will purify 20 gallons of water with the filter um, on one charge. So if you have the filter hooked up to it, 20 gallons on one charge. If you're not pumping through the filter and you're just pumping straight out, which is probably what I would do in, in the with the water in the garage anyway, 30 gallons on a... a on a charge and then the power pump purifies 40 ounces of water per minute so you know this and then with the uh, hand pump it says one gallon in less than three minutes so it's quite a bit longer um, and it'll pump 200 it, it the filter will work for 250 gallons of um, water for one filter that that doesn't sound like a lot but then I started thinking about it, and that's 250 of these. So if you're drinking, if you're drinking one of these a day, that's what the government says. I think actually it's way more than that, but or you need more than that. Maybe you only need to drink this much, but you need definitely need more water than that. But yeah, that would actually get you quite a ways with just one filter. I plan on ordering a couple extra filters, and. Um, I thought I was going to keep this kit. I'm going to put it in a in a bag once that dries out. It said it said you can dry out the filter and and, and reuse it without any effect, you know, with any negative effects. Um, 
I also wanted to, well, what I was getting at, sorry, I saw a squirrel. I want to uh, keep it somewhere handy, so I, but I can't keep it in a garage because I know from past experiences, you keep a semi-wet filter in a freezable situation and you're, you risk losing it, so I'm not going to do that. Um, it says it works on 15, 30, and 55 gallon long-term water storage containers so that's like I was telling you before um, the filter is called the journey filter and it removes nine nine point nine nine four ninths six ninths of all bacteria such as salmonella clear I'm not going to try to spell it or pronounce these and then ninety nine point nine nine percent of viruses and 99.99% of protozoa. It didn't say anything um, about chemicals. So it's, I don't think it's filtering chemicals. With that said, the reason I bring that up, I just tried I just tried a little bit of water out of that pitcher. I can't taste any chlor or chlorine. So, actually bleach. So I poured bleach in there and I could smell it in the drum. I thought, I hope I didn't put too much in there. But I can't smell it or taste it from what I just pumped. No, it doesn't advertise it, and I'm not here to tell you it does. So, um, but yeah, that's that's my experience right there. But I don't think you can test for bleach by smelling and tasting. Maybe, you know, I don't have testing equipment. Wouldn't know how and probably wouldn't bother, to be honest. I'm not re really worried about chemicals so much out of my uh, tap water. Um yeah, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna bag this up when, once I get it all dried and then keep it hanging here in the pantry somewhere so I can easily just grab it and go and make sure that stays charged. I'll put a full charge on let that sit overnight. So I'm pretty excited about it. Um I have multiple ways of pumping water out of containers. I've got containers of fuel, containers of water containers all over the place and um so i have different pumps i've got three or four of them from harbor freight you know the the ones with the the little thing on there and i keep a couple of those still in the package for an emergency so pumping isn't the issue but if it gets bad enough to where i have to go outside and start drinking the water in those drums outside i definitely would want to filter those because that's rainwater from my roof, and that it gets kind of old. Plus, it would freeze in the in the winter time. So, what I do in the winter time is I empty those out. So that won't even work in the winter. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I I like it. I'm gonna keep it. Do I recommend it? Yeah, go ahead and get it. I mean, it's not that much money. Um, I hate to say prices because as soon as I say that, then my my, my video is obsolete two months later if it goes up or down so it's under a hundred dollars quite a bit under a hundred dollars for the kit and um yeah if if you're to the point right now to where you're storing in in drums like that and you think you may need a filter yeah by all means it's it's it seems like a decent option and uh it's it uh the testing is done by a third party i read on that earlier so i don't i won't bother you but i'll try to fill in all the gaps on a blog post when it, the when I'm ready to publish this video. Alright, that's it. Brian Hawkins. Don't forget to subscribe this time. You didn't last time. It upset me. I didn't want to say anything. I need you to subscribe. You leave it up. If you want to hit the bell, hit the bell. But at least subscribe to the channel, okay? That's all I ask. Well, that's not all I ask, but it's one of the things I ask. And uh, Brian Hawkins, Next Step Survival. Thank you so much. We'll see you. Bye now. Boo! <laughs> Heh <laughs>